YouTube? Topaz Jay's back for another daily review, and this one is to that Young and May hot sauce. And before we jump into the review, just want to tell you guys that I got a giveaway going on for this month, man, in which I'm giving away a three-month supply of either Tidal or Apple, depending on the winner's preference. If you want to win this gift, man, go to downloadpaz.com slash giveaway. You'll see the video, and you'll see the full listing of the rules in which for you to apply for this. But I'm giving this song the yellow light, man, because simply put, it's not God awful of a track, but yet it's not anything that I would recommend people to go ahead and peep out. Honestly, this song is showing me that Young M.A. is ultimately a one-hit wonder hit because she's ultimately on the same lines of what she was doing with the ooh. But yet this one is far from being as catchy as that one was, man. And we can see that they honestly are putting the money behind this individual song as well. So I'm not really that big on this track to go all the way around, but yet it's ultimately the same thing. For those who don't know what sauce is, man, this is pretty much street slang that individual rappers are talking about the finesse on how they can go about and get everything that they want to go out and get. Basically, the persona and the swagger that an individual has to go out there and do whatever they want to do. As this song is pretty much Young Yume saying that she got all this hot sauce to be able to do whatever she wants to do. As literally, she's just jumping from random topic to random topic. And to pull this type of thing off, Either you got to be super catchy or you got to be super lyrical and she is far from being super lyrical here But yet catchiness is just not happening. So that's why this song isn't that good Really there's close to no lyricism on this track at all man The only thing that I would kind of point at and say that was decent that fact that you actually tried this is when she said you can't be looking for love in the strip club but yet when she goes in all the bartenders give her hugs like okay you gave an attempt there but obviously that fell flat on every level as you guys should know by now young ma is not releasing very much music like she's being pretty particular on the types of tracks that she's dropping and ultimately these songs are all coming across as the same so this has one hit wonder written all over her to keep it 1000 now hopefully I'm wrong and hopefully she'll go out and seek some ghostwriting because she just doesn't have the skill set to be able to be a good lyricist out here man hopefully she'll do all this to become better lately but yet overall not very good of a track here but a quick recap here the positives that I'm taking from this is that it's not god awful of a track like you can listen to it as background music pretty much but that's as far as it goes the negatives are man it's not that good of a song but this concludes today's review, and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Poppy Figs before we jump into the news and then jump into an article from DownloadPaz.com. to a conclusion of this beef that she got with Nicki Minaj and that's a good thing because quite honestly her second diss track wasn't that strong and seeing as though Nicki Minaj does not plan on coming out with a song in which there was a report that came out saying that she's not going to do it therefore this joint is over like honestly she just needs to take that win and run with it to keep it 100 with you because Nicki Minaj just proved to be so weak that if she ever tries to do anything rap related or something or try to claim that she's on top of any kind of rap game then honestly we can all point to something that proves otherwise. See Nicki Minaj has been exposed and she better stick to trying to be a pop star than trying to walk in between rap and pop and all of this stuff at the same time. But anyway on to today's article from downloadpads.com and today's article is about adjusting the grind because here's just the reality of it man. You will not be able to grind the same way that you was doing back in high school than when you was like five, ten years later when you get out of college if you decide to go that direction. And this is the thing that kills me about most rappers, man, because most rappers try to do the same exact thing. Like, I know a bunch of rappers and such that's trying to grind out here like it's still 1999, 2000 and such, dude, in which you're never going to see success with that. Like, you have to adapt and adjust to where the game is going because the game is constantly moving forward. If you stay stuck in one lane for one particular time and such, man, then you're not going to find your own success. You have to adjust to the way that people are grinding in order to find their own success and you spin off of it and continue to move towards the future man because the more you stay in the same lane, stay in the same place, the less likely you are to find anything. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there 
And you can go to downloadpads.com that's down there to read today's article.